Hi everyone, welcome back to Illum Savers. Today we're going to be going over a uh, programming update that I did for a customer. So uh, this this customer had the new Ultimate Works BMF lightsaber. He wanted to have some sound fonts on there, um, a couple of Mace Windu sound fonts, um, and just some other other characters. So we're going to go ahead and go through that, go through some of the features of that, um, and then just kind of do a brief demo walkthrough of um, how you can use the features on your new your new uh, update. So first of all, we've got, um, this is the one that I'm testing it on. I just have the, the core here. So this is the first font and it's in this, it's uh, BMF uh, by Kyberphonic. And so you can get tracks by um, doing a long press of the power button and then uh, you can go ahead and switch tracks by pressing the uh, auxiliary button. So we're going to go ahead and turn this back on. We're going to do some uh, force and some quotes and some other effects really quick. Okay, so a long press on the power button while the blade is on is going to do the force effects. So I think that's supposed to be uh, in the arena with Jinko Fett's head, you know. Um, just something to note, if you do press the power button um, a long press while the saber is completely upright. Uh, while it is on, it will also start the track. So you can start the track or stop the track uh, while the blade's on as well. And then, um, so default, it's going to be playing force sounds. So if I do it again, we'll get the same one we just heard. Now, if you point the saber straight down, you can toggle the force and the quotes because they use the same control. It's the long press of the power button for both. So if you point straight down, you can switch over to the quotes. Once you've got the quotes, you know, you've toggled over, you don't have to keep holding it down. You can move back to a normal, a normal uh, position, so. We will use all our resources to unravel this mystery. We will discover the identity of your attacker. So what I did for each of these uh, fonts is going to be, um, you're going to have quotes from the character. And some of them, uh, some of the fonts that you purchased actually came with multiple fonts, so I did divide them up that way, and some of them didn't. So BMF came with one sound font and it came with quotes from uh, all three of the prequel movies. So I went ahead and put them on in order and uh, where I could, where it was applicable, I actually included quotes from other characters as well. So um, for example, you purchased uh, Kyberphonics, The Count's Claw, as well as The Little Green Friend. And so I have the quotes in those two fonts from Yoda and from Count Dooku, where I could actually, in this Mace Windu package, put some of them in there. So like in episode two for the arena when Dooku and Windu are shouting back and forth from, uh, you know, up high and down in the arena. You had quotes from both of those, so I actually put those in there. Um, there aren't gonna be any, like, for example, the scene in Revenge of the Sith where um, Mace Windu's telling Anakin to take a seat, right? That quote's in there, but Anakin's parts are not because you didn't um, purchase that font, so I didn't have those quotes to work off of. But where I was able to, I did make the, the dialogue go back and forth. Because I like doing that. I think it's a, a, an important part of the story. So um, one more thing I just wanted to show is all the fonts are going to have twist off. Sometimes it's a bit hard to trigger, so you're going to have to kind of figure out, depending on the, the hilt you have, it's going to work a little differently. That works really well, and then... I also find if you have got it, if you just have the hill and you do it sideways, that normally works pretty well too. Uh, the next one is going to be, um, it's uh, Wan Sif Reloaded. Um, that, it'll work the same way. Um, you're going to have um, all the effects that he showed off in that video, plus I actually pulled some quotes um, from the BMF from Kyberphonic and some custom ones that I made and put on there as well. Count Dooku. Okay, so this is gonna be um, Attack of the Clones Count Dooku, or the Count's Claw V2 with uh, the Attack of the Clones font. That's what it is. Okay. Um, same thing on this, it's gonna have some forced sounds. We must persuade the Commerce Guild and the Corporate Alliance to sign the treaty. And some quotes. So we've already got switched over to quotes. Um, so you're going to have all of his Attack of the Clones quotes and then some of the exchange with Mace Windu, like I mentioned earlier. 
quite all the way down, you can go back to forest sounds. So we've got lightning for him. Um, and then, speaking of lightning, if you want to do lightning block, hold power and then click aux. Yeah. Alright, so that's a cool uh, feature. I sense Count Dooku. And then uh, this is going to be Count Dooku episode 3. Same kind of deal here, quotes and force effects from that movie from him. Uh, a lot less quotes in this one, obviously he's only got like four lines in the whole movie. Next one up. Master Yoda. Alright, so this is going to be Yoda from episode 2. Um, same thing here, you've gonna, you're going to have your force effects and your quotes. Um, also, you can press the auxiliary button while the saber's on to engage blaster. Blaster deflect, that is. The dark side clouds everything. So you're going to have your quotes on there, too. And then the next one's going to be Yoda from episode 3. My little green friend. Okay, so this one's going to have the same kind of stuff on it. Um... Quotes from episode three, um, and, you know, blaster deflect, all the blade effects, force effects, uh, tracks, all of them will have a track that goes with them. I wondered when you would return. Okay, so this is the temple guard that you wanted. Um, this one does not have any quotes because it didn't come with any, um, but it's got all the blade effects, and uh, it's got a track that, that I put with it. I want to say, yeah, one of the tracks that came with, um, the Yoda font. I think it comes with a few, but uh, the Yoda one is, is the one that I pulled it from on your your uh, package. Um, had the Order 66 font. And I felt like that was probably an appropriate one just because, you know, the, the temple cards fell during Order 66 and uh, the one of the temple cards we, we know ends up becoming uh, the Grand Inquisitor. So that felt appropriate. Um, the track for that one is uh, Order 66 just because that was one that you had and because it didn't, it didn't come with one. So, but you've got all the blade effects on there. You've got force effects as well. Um, and and uh, the color's gonna be yellow. Of course. A unique hum for sure as well. Master Kenobi? I am, and when you have your strength, I will help you on your way. Okay, so this one is going to be, um, it's uh, OB4 as of the, the font that you purchased. And that came with, Three versions, and I actually made four, um, just to kind of tell his whole story. Um, so that font comes with uh, a Star Wars Rebels uh, font, uh, and OB4 from the beginning of the movie up kind of through the cantina, and then it comes with one uh, from the Death Star. But then it also included all of the Ben Kenobi Force Ghost quotes, and so I felt like it would be really um, cool to have all of those included, and I didn't feel like they really fit with the Death Star um, package, so I actually made another, like, I just copy and pasted the um, Death Star font into another font and then changed out all the boot sounds and all the quotes to be um, the Force Ghost stuff. So it's the same font, um, the Force Ghost one, it's the same font that you purchased, um, just with some of that Force Ghost stuff, so you can really take advantage of that. So this is the uh, Rebels one. And it has this really, like, pulsating... Um, which is really interesting. If you actually watch the scene with uh, Kenobi and Maul in Rebels, that's exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna have quotes on here and force sounds. You're in the wrong place, as we you. Okay, and then you'll if you toggle. You'll have the force sounds as well. Ben, Ben Kenobi. So this is gonna be the Cantina version. So it's the beginning of the movie up through the Cantina. And then you're gonna have quotes on that. Hello there. I haven't gone by the name of Obi Wan since all before you were born. I was once a Jedi Knight, same as your father. Um, and so this is gonna have all those quotes again in uh, in order. The next one's gonna be Death Star. Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, 
and this is going to be the same thing. It's going to have all the quotes up through um, the duel with Darth Vader. And then I think I actually included, to kind of bridge the gap, I included the one where uh, Kenobi says, run, Luke, run, after he's been struck down by Vader. And then the next one's going to be the Force Ghost. So all those quotes are on there. And then um, because you also uh, purchased uh, the return from Kyberphonic, I actually was able to um, have the dialogue between Ben Kenobi and Luke uh, on Dagobah. And so that, that whole conversation and then um, him asking Ben about Leia, um, that's all on both this font and um, the return of the Jedi, Luke font. I am the Jedi, like my father before me. Okay. And also, if you noticed, I tried to put the fonts more or less in chronological order, sorted by character. So we started with um, Mace Windu, since that was the um, primary hilt you're going to be using this in. Um, and then, basically, I just went like through the prequels. And so where there were two fonts of a character, I did like the first one chronologically and the second one. So I went by character, and then within character, I went chronologically. Um, but then I also did the characters more or less chronologically. So. Um, for example, all the prequel characters come before Ben Kenobi, and Ben Kenobi comes before Luke. So that's kind of how it's organized. If you're trying to find your way through it, um, it shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Um, so this is your uh, Return of the Jedi sound font. The The track on this is the uh, throne room duel between Luke and Vader, so that's a really, really iconic uh, track. And of course, you've got the iconic ignition there. <laughs> Gonna have some quotes on here. Greetings, exalted one. I am Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight and friend to Captain Solo. I seek an audience with your greatness to bargain for Solo's life. So it's gonna go all the way through the movie, um, and uh, I think I think that goes all the way back around. Master Windu. Yes. yes. So that one is uh, Mace Windu's. So I'm gonna go ahead and show one more thing off. Um, that I did, and then I'll go ahead and go over um, some of the effects. So if you're not familiar with this box for system, the chassis just pops out, um, and then you can actually use that connector in any of the hilts, so that's pretty cool. All right, so for each of the sound fonts, you're gonna have the, the uh, chassis LED accent strip is gonna do something different. So when it's off, it'll do something kind of like this, and then when it's on, it's gonna behave a little differently. So this one's gonna have that kind of back and forth movement and then sort of a heartbeat when it's on. And then when it's off, it's gonna have this, like that. Reloaded by Wansif is gonna be the same as well. All right, this is the Dooku font. So it's gonna have this same scrolling sort of uh, waiting feature while it's off as if the saber were in kind of a sleep mode or something. And then when it's on, it's going to go ahead and match the blade style, so it's going to have the uh, rotoscope that we had talked about. And it'll react to uh, clashes and uh, lock up and that kind of stuff. And then uh, the next one's going to be Count Dooku as well. I sense Count Dooku. It's going to be the same uh, animation on here. Um, the next one is... Master Yoda. Yoda. So we'll get that. And then it'll have like a center in kind of fade effect to get back to the scrolling. Uh, the uh, episode three master Yoda will be the same. My little green friend. I wondered when you would return. The temple guard will be the same as uh, Yoda, except for just some color differences. So it'll have the same effect when it's off and when it's on. Um, but then the Yoda one has the it's like the prequel trilogy. Um, clash color that he pulls from the movies. Um, this one, because that white was too close to the yellow, it's kind of a cream color. I used like a like an orange red. Master Kenobi, I am, and when you have your strength, I will help you on your way. So all of the Obi Wan Kenobi or Ben Kenobi ones will be the same. It's gonna have like a heartbeat when it's off, and then when it's on, it'll match the blade style. 
and um, Man, I'll skip ahead to the. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So here's Luke, Return of the Jedi. You've also got that scanner, and then it's got a heartbeat or like a faster pulsating heartbeat when it's on. I thought that was pretty cool. So I tried to give you some differences there, um, and I did that. For a couple of reasons. First of all, it's just cool to know that it does that, but also the customer mentioned he actually had the Pox for OB4. And so that one actually has um, in the bubble strip, it actually has a window where this stuff shines through. So that's really cool. Um, so he will actually be able to use this. And if you do decide like, hey, you know, this maybe isn't screen accurate to what you see in the movies, you don't see it lighting up like that. All you have to do is switch around the button orientation and then you'll have the battery facing that thing, you won't see anything. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll just go over a couple of the uh, controls really quick and then like I said I'll put those in the description as well um, so you can go over those yourself but um, some of the ones that I showed in this video were um, the uh, the quotes and the force effects those are just going to be a long press of the power button um, make sure you're not pointing it straight up though um, or straight down straight down will toggle it back and forth so straight down if you point it straight down you go between force and quotes you know if you're on quotes and you want to get to force point it straight down hold the power button um, and you're going to have the drag effect. So that's going to be if you hold ox and you stab down. But I'm going to say a lot of these that have the um, like gesture activated parts. So like um, for this one where you have to hold ox and stab, that's going to be kind of hard to trigger because um, the pox store hearts are more prone to false clashes. I personally, I've found than some other sabers just because they're um, in these smaller chassis. And a lot of times the um, the way that they sit in the housing, there's some space around them, which um, normally doesn't affect the sound too too much, but uh, a lot of times that sound can kind of leak up here. And so um, like particularly loud blaster sounds or quotes, I've found quotes really do it. Um, that can give you a false clash. So I set the clash a little higher. You can still trigger it uh, by hitting it for sure. Um, but it's, it's gonna be a little more difficult and that's that's on purpose because otherwise when you're using some of these other effects, you're gonna get false clashes all over the place. You're not gonna be able to hear your quotes because the characters will talk and you'll get clash, clash, clash. Um, but yeah, the drag effect is gonna be holding ox and stabbing down. It says the melt effect is gonna be holding ox and stabbing parallel or up. Um, and then you can also do the uh, the lightning block that we, that I, um, demonstrated so you can do uh hold power and tap ox that one's a pretty easy one to to do just because there's not a gesture part involved and then you can also of course twist off so there are some other ones in there i will say um i will post the the uh, prop file in the description just take a look at that if you have any questions on how to activate any of this stuff shoot me a message if you need to no problem as always i appreciate you guys stopping by if you ever need a propy golden harvest hysteria update whatever um, feel free to drop me a line. Uh, if you need an install, we can talk about that as well. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.